So here's Kaimi Fairbairn to do the honors. And we are underway from Santa Clara. Fielded just outside the goal line. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. So first and 10 now from the 30. On the ground, it's Swift to start the drive. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Just like that, it's a gain of 12 and a first down on their first play. Well, there you go. This offense off to a strong start this afternoon. Yeah, with a big run and a first down. That's putting what you practice into play. That's excellent execution to get things started. First down, and they go with Swift again. And a pretty good burst there as he'll get this across midfield and down to the 46. It's a pickup of 12. Second play in a row with a 12-yard gain. Well, there's plenty of real estate for him to maneuver on that run. And let's face it, it shouldn't be a surprise. He's one of the better backs in the league. Had to come into this game with the idea, slow him down. Otherwise, it's going to be a long afternoon. He'll buy some time right. Yeah, he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. He'll get 10 there all on his own, but it'll be second down. And that's an early scramble that can be viewed positively by either side. From the offensive point of view, it begins to establish him as a possibility to keep it on certain plays. And defensively, they avoided giving up a huge play in one of their first tests in containing a quarterback on the run. And finally, they get him to the ground, but it's all the way down at the Niners' six-yard line. They'll run here with Henderson. And he gets him a little bit closer. He takes it from the six inside the five to the four. Here's where we need to see some tenacity from this defense because they've been pushed right down the field on this opening drive. They've got to find some way to push back, and that's a good first step. Swift will get about halfway there as he takes this from the four down to the two. Call it a gain of a couple. The defense stiffening here. It's third and goal. Driven it down the field nicely here on the opening drive, and now it's put up or shut up. No doubt about it, because to make that type of a drive and ultimately kick a field goal would feel very disappointing. But I'm just wondering, is the head coach thinking, is this four down territory? Might he go for it? The San Francisco defense trying to hold tough again. This is third and goal. They're going to run this with a tight end. And he's going to take it in for a Lion touchdown. Touchdown on the year. And the Lions will jump on top with the game's first score here this afternoon. Looking sharp on that first drive. These guys, of course, coming off back-to-back -back victories. And you see that kind of advancing into this game, don't you? You certainly do. And when you have a team that doesn't get too full of itself, even though they've won two games in a row, you get the end result that we saw there, that nice opening drive, because they're sharp, they're focused, and they're locked into everything that they're doing. A fairly short kick from the 14. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. Start on the ground with McCaffrey. And give him six yards here as he stopped near the 35 at the 34. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. Purdy looking to throw. That's going to be caught by Samuel. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. 15 for the Niners there and a first down. We'll see what kind of mindset they have here offensively after giving up the touchdown on the opening drive. And based on our time with them, you know, prior to this game, I feel like they've got a good mindset going in. In fact, 
the discussion that we had with the coaching staff was, you know, we may give up some points in this game, so our offense has to be ready each and every time to either equal or try and get us ahead and try and keep us ahead. This is their chance to respond to that first touchdown given up. The catch and run pays off for 29 yards. And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against them a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there, and they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. First down, this is McCaffrey. Oh, and fine work there as he gets this thing down to the 11-yard line. Now a first and 10 at the 11. Off the RPO, he completes it. Touchdown, 49ers! A great play there with touchdown number eight on the year. And the Niners are able to match the opening drive touchdown against them with one of their own. Extra point by Fairbairn, up and good. And we are tied at seven. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. Here comes Khalif Raymond from his end zone. And he returns this to the 22. Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. And as these guys interplay in week 17, we know one thing. They are playoff bound, but they want to win that division title. They told us that is a goal that's been posted in their locker room since day one. They've got the chance to control their own destiny. And there's nothing more powerful than saying that you won the division because I know from building a team, when I talk with all the GMs and the player personnel directors, they always talk about to get to the playoffs in the NFL, you have to have a team that's constructed to win your division. Beat those teams first. That's your number one path to getting there, and they can get that done in this game. Off the play fake, Mariota. Finding a safety valve here, that's complete. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. He'll get a dozen there, and the Lions have a first down. Clock runs, less than a minute to go, and an entertaining first quarter to play. On first and 10, it's Swift. No gain on the play, it'll be second down. All runners count on their eyes to find the gaps and creases to find open space. There was absolutely none on that one. Totally swallowed up on that play. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and 10. On play action, Mariota. On the run, he'll let this go deep right side. He's got a man complete. Touchdown, Detroit yards. And the Lions have moved out in front. Extra point by Badgley, up and good. And that makes the score 14 to 7. Here are the Lions now as they line up and kick this one away. Taken at the 15, a short kick. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. You know, in our research packet this week, prepping for the game, so many articles from the local beat writer about the offensive struggles of this team and what will they do this offseason? What do you think they'll do? Well, number one, they'll turn to their self-scouting report. And every team that's any good does this. They have outside groups, check out their team, scout them, and tell you who can play, who can't play, and reasons why. Some of it may just be health. They have to get some guys healthy and back out on the field. But overall, evaluate this squad and make the changes that you need to. Up 
the god McCaffrey. And a five-yard gain gets him to the 42. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. They stay on the ground. McCaffrey again. And a pretty good run as he'll get this down close to a first at the Lions 38. After a gain of five, they'll wind up being about a length of the football short here on third down. Pretty good job defensively. Thought he was going to get it, but they knew where that marker was, and they stopped him just short of it. What it does is emphasize that strategic football and situational football is not just played on the offensive side, is it? Defense understanding, as you noted, where the first down marker was and making sure they didn't get there. Now this time they'll throw it. Here's Purdy. And they're going to get this down near the 35-yard line. Brandon, once that one broke down, there were only so many options left for him to take. Fortunately, only first down, so he smartly got the yardage he could get and didn't worry about trying to turn it into a bigger play and end up taking a bigger loss. Here, they hope they can regroup and get something different going here on second down. Oh, he's going to let this go for the end zone. Touchdown, San Francisco. Danny Gray. His first touchdown on the year. And the Niners are within an extra point of tying up this ball game. Fairbairn good with the extra point. And we are tied at 14. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. Here's Raymond bringing it out. And tackled at the 21-yard line. So a net negative there of four yards. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. And right now, we've got a little bit of an offensive masterpiece going on both sides, moving the football, scoring points. It's almost like somebody put the defense on rookie mode in this one. I mean, we haven't even left the first half, Charles, and we're certainly on pace for a shootout. An excellent start for both offenses. The fans have to be enjoying this to seeing all these points go up on the board. As a former defender, you know I'm not enjoying this at all, but right now, both these teams just trading haymakers. Let's see if anyone slips up first. Can anyone counter with a nice little jab and get things going in their direction. That'll leave them with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. They'll come to the line needing only two yards to gain the first here. And tough going there as he'll only get it up to about the 31. Just a one-yard gain on the play, and that'll be the call to the punt team as it's fourth down. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a force of nature at the defensive tackle position. Yes, he's as big as they come, but still plenty agile. He's able to make a nice play there to swallow up the ball carrier. Henderson going to run for it. And he's going to have the first down at about the 38. A big roll of the dice on fourth and one, but it pays off. They convert. Oh, on the defensive side, that is so deflating. Not only is it deflating, they've got to look in each other's eyes on that side of the ball and take each other's measure. You've got them backed up. Perfect situation. And what they said to you on the other side is, we don't think you can stop us. Went ahead and got it in that position. That should never happen. It's a gain of 33 as we ironically approach 333 remaining in the quarter. So now then, the big play has them all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. Here's a toss play right to Swift. And he'll lose yardage. Brought down at the 32. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. Sometimes you just sit back and marvel at what he can do defensively. Speed, strength, quickness, he's the whole package. And that package just wrapped up the runner for a loss. They'll try to throw now, Mariota. He'll get that one complete to Connor. And he's going to be taken down at the 28-yard line. Oh, it's time to give a little credit there to the defense. They played that very well because it was a drag route, and he ran a little shallower than normal as he worked straight across the field. He was hoping he'd get lost behind the defensive line, but once he made the catch, nowhere to turn up field and gain any yardage. On third down, Mariota. 
Oh, that's into a sea of bodies, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Charvarius Ward. And the Niners will take over here as they get it up to the 43-yard line. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. They'll start in excellent field position following the INT. The drive begins with a run by McCaffrey. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. So the opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. They go play action here. Purdy. And this one is going to be off the mark, too far out in front. They certainly did a nice job improvising there, extending the play, hoping someone would come open downfield, but they never did. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. McCaffrey running up the middle. And to the 46, he goes and no further. So he is well short of the first down marker. Call it a gain of five. Fourth down now. Fourth down, Corliss Waitman now on to punt. Back deep, Khalif Raymond. Only two punts for him last week in the loss as he gets this one away. And that'll hit in the end zone. Much too much leg there. That'll be a touchback. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. And with a little under a minute to play, they may be looking to pick up some yardage here, maybe try and come up with a field goal to seize the lead before intermission. And he's taken down. The Lions will use the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one. From all the way up at the 38 now after a good start to the drive. And this play will be blown up. He'll lose yardage back at the 38. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Sometimes in the run game, you can make the argument that quickness beats size. And how about the example right here? So after the loss of a yard, they'll look to push forward here on second down and 11. From the shotgun, it's Mariota being chased out left. He's going to leave this for his running back. It's complete. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. So the completion results there in nine yards. And it makes it third down and two yards to go. They'll send a receiver in motion to the left. Mariota on third and two. He's airing it out for Williams. This is caught inside the 15. Touchdown! And the Lions have taken the lead here in the final stages of this first half. Extra point by Badgley, up and good. And the lead is now 21-14. Four seconds, all that remain here in this first half as the kick gets away. Fields this way up at the 17. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. One second, all that remains. The final shot before break. Purdy. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. So we've reached halftime here on New Year's Eve. As we'll send you eastward to Orlando, standing by with that EA Sports Halftime Report now is Jonathan Coachman. Take it away, Coach. The final two quarters of the NFL regular season are upon us as the second half of Week 17 is underway. Takes it at the 7. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. Starting the second half with a run by McCaffrey. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 
One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. Complete out to Samuel on the quick throw. So no gain on the play, and that'll bring up second down. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained, so they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. On second down, McCaffrey. Five yards, now it's third and five. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. Third down, here's McCaffrey. And he won't get close. Only a yard, fourth and three. Another down on the scoreboard, but the urge to go for it is almost irresistible here on fourth and short. Yeah, I know. I know they're on their own side of the uh, field. I was going to say. Normally, I would say punt the ball away, but I'm feeling it. I say go for it. They'll run for it. McCaffrey. And boy, is he close. Did he get there? No, they're going to say he's short of the line to gain. So certainly an interesting call there to go for it. And it'll be a turnover on downs. Good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10 right at the 50-yard line. And he's going to be brought down inside the 45 at the 43. 47 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. So they'll come up after the gain of seven on a second and three. They go back to the ground, this time swift. And they'll be inside the 35 now at the 34-yard line. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time and making it work. Once again, it's Swift. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and 10 coming up. The free safety roaming all the way up to the line of scrimmage to make that stop. How about his ability to trust his eyes and figure out it was not a pass play and go fast towards the line of scrimmage in order to make that tackle? Here's a pass swung out left to his running back. And that play went nowhere. Losing yardage. It'll be back at the 36. Two yards the loss, and now third and 12. We'll see what they have drawn up here. A little bit behind the line. 12 yards needed to gain a first down. Play fake. Mariota. Open man is Duvernay. And down to the 20 he'll go before heading out of bounds. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. Running left is Henderson. And he'll wind up losing yardage here back at the 21-yard line. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. I'll tell you what, this defense hasn't played its best, but they're still right in this football game. And if they keep making plays just like that, they're going to give their offense a chance. He finds his man complete. It's Connor. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. On the carry, it's Muhammad. And not able to break away this time as they're going to stop him right around the line of scrimmage. They'll say no gain on the play, and it'll be second and goal. Then he got off the end there very quickly to make that play. Yeah, it was almost like the bullet train, wasn't it? I mean, just zoom. Quick, quick, quick. And what a terrific play, holding them to no gain. Now here's a little touch pass as they tap it quickly to their receiver. And they'll be driven back here, losing yardage to the nine. The defensive coordinators love that. You got a cornerback willing to stick his nose in there, come up on run support, and stop that pop pass dead in its tracks. And, Barton, one good thing about trying to defend that play, you should see it coming the whole way. You see the receiver coming in motion in your direction. Nice job eluding the blocker, making the play behind the line of scrimmage, but an even better job studying the play before you have to try and defend it in a game. Just a gain of two there, and it's going to bring up a fourth down. 
Badgley able to knock this one through, and they are able to add on to their lead. And that's exactly what you're looking to do. Maneuver yourself into range. That way, if your drive stalls out, you're able to get something out of it, and they do so right there. From the 10. And it's a pretty good return here, so he'll get this up to the 29. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. And they're coming off a fourth down gamble that last drive that backfired CD, but really not as badly as it could. Their defense held up and only gave up three points. And what they want to do is play off the momentum the defense gave them, only giving up the three points in that situation after they failed on fourth down. Now they want to make it pay off. They want to pay homage to the defense and have their own drive pay off in points for themselves. Now a draw play to McCaffrey. And if there was a lane there, it closed up quickly as he stopped for no gain. Second down. This run defense has been pretty stout all game long. Now you're here in the fourth quarter. Just rely more on the passing attack. I don't think you have any choice, and I don't think you have to dress it up at all either. Throughout the first three quarters, you're still trying to convince the defense that you may run the football. That's out the window right now. Protect, let your quarterback operate, and try to find some targets in the open field downfield. 73 yards on the ground for him so far. And this offense on third down today, just one for three thus far. This time they face a third and two. They'll try and pick it up with McCaffrey. And he's going to have the first down yardage to the 35. A third down gain of three yards, and that'll be enough. Now, yes, a two-possession game, but a good chunk of time on the clock, so they have the ability still there to run it on second and short, but maybe they need to pick it up a bit. You're right. They did pick up the first down there, but they, as you mentioned, they have to pick up the pace now because it's a two-possession game. They've got to get there twice to make sure they have a chance to win. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. 25 yards the pick up there and also a first down. Boy, where would these guys be without his performance on the ground? That puts him over 100 yards now for the afternoon, and I tell you, he seems to be getting stronger as the day goes along. And running room hard to come by here. He gets it down to the eight. It's a gain of a couple, and it'll be second and goal. Defensively, pretty good start there with their backs against the wall. That's a win for the stop troops right there. And if I'm them, I get a little bolder now. They won the first battle, keep coming after them, put the pressure on them. They'll get this halfway home from the eight to the four on a gain of four. Sometimes I get caught in hyperbole, but I think they desperately need to punch this one in. They're running out of time. Yeah, two score game, second half. You're down here. This is the time to put it in the end zone. And not going to get much better than this for an opportunity. And he's going to be taken down right at the line. Purdy, big fourth down play. He's going to get this one out to his fullback. Touchdown! Kyle Juszczyk from four yards out. And the 49ers have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. Extra point by Fairbairn, up and good. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. So after the touchdown, here's Fairbairn now to kick it away. Here's Raymond bringing it out. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. And with that last touchdown, I mean, we're set up for a good finish here. Some things to consider, Charles. Obviously, it's a very close game here in the fourth quarter. Defensively, they've got all three timeouts in their back pocket. So the chess match really ramps up, doesn't it? Because in these situations, what do you do? Do you run the ball and kill the clock here? Or do you try and bury them with another score? And how about defensively? Do you use your timeouts at early as opportunity? Or wait till you hit the two-minute warning? So there's a lot going into this one. Let's see how each side goes about their strategy. Now he's going to swing this one out to his running back. 
And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. And they'll try to squeeze in one more play here before the two-minute warning. Henderson now on first and 10. And he's across the 40, three extra yards to the 43. Less than two to play with just a field goal separating these two sides. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. Mariota. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. It'll be a gain of five. And that'll bring up what looks to be a third in inches. Can't be more than a half a foot. That might feel like a little bit of a lost opportunity there for the offense because the defense brought pressure that time. And sometimes it gets that, you can get it out to your running back, and it can turn into a big game downfield. But what a nice job they did getting to him quickly and holding him to a short game. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. They will run straight ahead with Swift. And he's got some space here. And he's got this down to the 35. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. They'll stay on the ground with Swift. Oh, he's got a little daylight. And he's across for the late touchdown. And in the final seconds, that one should just about put a capper on this game. And that touchdown, Charles, with very little time remaining, boy, it just sucked any energy and momentum out of the other sideline. Yeah, it'd take an incredible comeback in the final minute to bring this one back to even. A great series there offensively. They saw an opportunity to slam the window shut, and they followed through. Here's Badgley now to try to add the PAT. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. Here are the Lions now as they line up and kick this one away. Taken at the 15, a short kick. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. This is just an exercise in futility. Do you, do you even bother running a play here offensively? I wouldn't because now is not going to erase what's happened during the game. So after it's over, you're going to go to the film, find out where the game was really lost. But this is not a situation now where you're going to make up for anything. We'll see what they do here. And now with four seconds left, we get a timeout call. some room to maneuver and they're going to be set up down around the 15 yard line a higher scoring game Charles than we typically see in the National Football League but fun to watch these offenses they were really clicking it seemed like everything that they dialed up worked yeah, it certainly was fun to watch from our perspective. How'd you like to be those defensive coaches, though? That wasn't a blast for them at all. And let's face it, they all game plan, they all scout, they all think they're prepared. But executing and stopping teams, that's another matter entirely. So for the Lions, they run their record to 13-3 and now on the year. So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn, and this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. Check it out.